Vicki Howell, here to show you a yarn crafting technique that I'm a little bit obsessed with. It's arm knitting, and as the name suggests, there are no needles involved. All you need are your arms and several strands of beautiful, bulky yarn. With those, you can whip up an eternity scarf like this, or a cowl, or a straight scarf in about the time that it takes you to watch your favorite TV program. It's fun, it's quick, and the best thing about it is that absolutely anybody can do it. I'm going to get you started on the basics right now. To begin arm knitting, you're going to need to cast on. And to do that, you want to start with your yarn. I'm using four strands here, but you can use uh, whatever the project calls for, or whatever your heart desires and take a length of it depending on what the project calls for. I'm using, I probably pulled out about a couple yards and tied it into a slip knot. You're just going to place the slip knot on your right hand and tighten. And it shouldn't matter if you're right hand or left handed because you're going to be using swapping back and forth um, during the whole process. So you pull it so it's a little bit snug, snug, but still can move. And then you're going to place your pointer finger and thumb through the two strands that are hanging. The strands that will be hanging will be the tail and then the working yarn. The working yarn is connected to the yarn ball. You're going to separate it and then hold them together. You can see with your ring finger and your pinky and pull it down and you can see it looks a little bit like a heart or a slingshot. And from here, you're going to take your hand and go under the strand that's on your thumb, over the strand that's around your forefinger. And you can see right here, this is the loop. This is the stitch being created. You let go of it and slowly pull and you've created your next stitch and you just move that over. So that's, so now you have two stitches on your arm. Again, we're counting all the strands of yarn working together as one, as one. So just pretend that this is one strand of yarn when working. Okay, so we're set up again. We go under, over, pull through and drop off. So I'm set up, under, over, pull through and then tighten. Okay. I'm going to show you again. So when I say under, I mean under the strand that's on your thumb. Now when I say over, what I mean is, you can see, let me see if I can cheat, you can see right here there's a strand. I want to go over and pick it up. And you can see when I'm picking it up before I've even done anything, this is going to become your stitch. And pull it through. And then you'll just continue in this manner until you get as many stitches as you want on your wrist. I, I did about seven for the scarf I'm wearing. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just do five for the purposes of this video. And then once you're cast on, you are ready to begin knitting. All right. So the next thing we need to do is set up. You want to make sure that you're not working with your tail, that you're working with the working yarn. Again, that's attached to the yarn. For the first stitch, it'll be a little bit different than the rest. You're going to take, so I should stop here and say that finger knit or that arm knitting, finger knitting, needle knitting, all of it is just a series of loops laid over one another. And so that's really the concept to keep in your mind when you're doing this. So to create the first loop, you want to take your working yarn and push it through one of the loops that's on your wrist and pull it off and let it drop off. This is just to get the first one on and then move that over to your opposite hand. Okay, so now this is where it's you're going to feel a little, you're literally tied up. Now you want to take the strand of yarn and push it 
through the next one and you kind of wiggle waggle off. Place that next loop on your left hand or wrist rather. I'm going to pull some more yarn, excuse me. Then you move to the next one. Push it through. You can also grab it, whatever, whatever method works for you. Honestly, once you see what you're doing, which is, you know, creating that loop, you can see that right here. Any way that you get the job done works for me. But I like to just push that loop up while the other one's falling off and then place it on my wrist. You could also, at least when you're going this direction, you could also start this way by reaching through your loop, the one the loop that's on your wrist and pulling the working yarn that way. Whatever makes the job easiest for you. All right, now we have one row, our very first row of arm knitting's done. So now what, right? Well, we have to get it to the other wrist now, or the other arm. I'm gonna pull more yarn out. Okay, so just as we did before, you're going to pull the working yarn through and place that on your opposite hand. And this is why you see at the beginning why I said it didn't matter really what your dominant hand was because you are going to be using both of them. All right. And then you just keep repeating exactly what you did before. Whoops, I didn't do it that time. Pull the loop through, slide it off. And if you want to do it the other way that I told you, you can just grab the working yarn and pull it directly through that way either way. It's doing the same thing again. It's just laying loops over loops. So one loop is on your wrist. And then you pull the other one through. Okay, so you'll continue in that manner, just going, getting all of the loops off of one arm onto the other and back and forth until your piece is as long as you'd like it. If you're making a cowl, it might be shorter or longer depending on if you want to um, if you want to double it. You can either, when you're done, leave it like this or you could seam it up. You could do wide pieces, you could make it a blanket. There's really tons of possibilities. But no matter what, you're going to have to then, at the end, finish it off. So I'm gonna show you how to bind off. So, to get it off, your arm and finish it off, you're going to knit two stitches lost a couple strands of yarn, there you go so now that you have now you have two stitches worked on one side on one arm. And then you take the second stitch and drop it over the first. Make sure you get all the strands of yarn and let it drop off. Then you knit the second stitch yarn can get out of control, excuse me. Pull it through as if you were knitting it and then once again lift it over the first one and let it drop off. And then you're just going to continue doing that until all of your stitches have been bound off. You might want to give it a tug every once in a while. And if you keep if you lose some of your strands as I did, just you can just go back and get them. Okay, so now I only have one left. And so once you're done, all you'll do is you'll 
snip your yarn and pull the strand all the way through and you'll be tied off. And that's all there is to it. Now you know everything that you need to know to get started on your very first arm knitting project. And don't forget to come back often for more great projects, inspiration, patterns, and of course, how-to videos like this one. Check back often at yarnspirations.com.